Hi, I'm here at the World Poker Open with Players TV. Dan, Duncan, and I are prepared to interview all the players as they arrive for the tournament and as they bust out. So come with us as we catch all the action. Hi, this is Duncan Wilkie reporting for Players TV. I'm here at the World Poker Open with uh, John Tabatabai. Now, John, uh, you've been uh, laying a bit low recently. I haven't seen much of you. What's been going on? I've been undercover the last uh, last six months or so. I've been working on uh, a new a new project called BiddyBot, where it's like an auction site. People can get credits to play on Betfair and other sites. So I've just been working on that. We've just launched. So that means I'm back in business now. I'm back to play these tournaments, and I, I'm really excited to be here. The World Open was actually the first TV tournament I played a few years ago, and now they have an even better structure. They have 300,000 starting stack. So I'm pretty excited. Okay, so it should be a fun day today. Uh, got a nice easy lineup, a nice quiet one as well. Uh, what's your strategy for the day? Well, it's it's a very easy table. I've got, you know, just the person who won the EPT a few days ago, Mr. Toby Lewis. He's no big deal. Then I've got the world champion, Huxley, no big deal. Uh, famous uh, media savvy, hungry, Mr. Phil Lack, no big deal. And a couple other guys who are also top, top players. So, yeah, should be... Easy. <laughs> and of course, with that lineup, we'd be expecting quite a lot of banter. Do you think there's going to be a bit of table talk today? Yeah, definitely. There, there'll, be, there'll be some table talk, and it, it's going to be interesting actually to see how people play because there's a lot of aggressive people at the table, and at the same time, a couple of people who are more solid, and you, never, you just never know who's going to fall into what form that day. Like a solid person sometimes just randomly explodes on these TV tables, and sometimes aggressive people just go into a shell. It just. It's hard to say, you just have to see, you have to watch and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And of course, after this, it's uh, a big few weeks for poker in London. That's right. WSOPE, EPT, all sorts going on. Uh, are we going to see you at a lot of those events? What are your plans? You certainly will. My plan is pretty much to play all the WSOPEs. Um, they're my favorites, of course. Mm -hmm. And, I, well, I guess the EPT. And I think there's a few other things in between. Um, just, just pretty much play it by ear and see how it turns out. But the main thing for me is the World Series Europe. After this tournament, of course. Of course. And now, uh, last year was a, a bit of a disaster in the main event. <laughs> uh, contracted food poisoning or some sort of freak illness and wow. uh, ended up bubbling. Does that make you even more pumped up to do better this year? Well, it's ironic that the very first year when I came second, I knocked out the person who bubbled. And then last year, the exact same thing happened to me, where the only difference was I was all in with aces this time. You know, the usual bad beat story. <laughs> but what was really sick was the fact that I'd contracted food poisoning the night before. And I was actually missing half of my hands because I was in between the toilets I was vomiting and the table and I'd, I don't know if you saw the pictures or the video I had like a towel around me I, I couldn't even see properly I came back and I look at the cards I see one's an ace I think oh, okay that's a good card <laughs> look at the other one oh two aces pretty good hand you know get the chips in the middle uh, actually a friend of mine ends up uh, calling with pocket sevens I was like marvellous here we go mm -hmm. first card of seven I was like ah oh, no big deal 25,000 pounds and a chance to come first What's the problem? <laughs> but you know that's that's why we play poker. It's such a, it's it's that thrill, that buzz that you get from from the game, mm -hmm. which is why we here. So, is there a sense that you're going back this year to try and exercise some demons from last year and obviously finishing runner up to a net to get you extra motivated for it? You know, I, I think that's how a lot of people think, and I definitely used to think like that. But now it's you can't. You have to look at every tournament you play on an individual basis because that's really how it is. You, you can't think of previous bad beats or scenarios because they don't they no longer exist you can only learn from your mistakes and from your weaknesses just to go into each next tournament and play your absolute best do everything you can and not let the past bother you so i'm not going there to exercise any demons i'm just going to go there to play my best and i just hope it's good enough mm -hmm. well hopefully the cards will fall into place for you cheers john thank you very much